don't think it's any more dangerous or unhealthy or healthy than it was yesterday or like a year ago or whatever. I think, I think sort of the macro trend that's, that's kind of influencing me when I say that is that I think as the web is getting bigger, the world's getting smaller. And so, you know, look, I think if you read the press in the U.S., uh, you'll often hear at least once a week somebody will say valuations are going crazy and this, that, and the other is happening, right? And I think the reality is that look, the, the best companies will always be expensive. There's no doubt about it. It's just, if it's, an, if it's a great company, the investors are going to fly after it and, and supply and demand, right? It's just, it's just going to get expensive. Every investor only has three options when they think the market's too pricey or too bubbly or whatever. I think option number one is that you just sit out of the market. But you know, I would argue that if you don't play the lottery, you'll never win. The other side of it is that you can go bitch and moan about it. You can go uh, fight founders and try to get the prices down. You can write blog posts. You can do all you want. I think the risk there, I'm not going to say whether that's good or bad, but I'll say the risk there is that you risk hurting your brand. Uh, which in, what that really means tactically is that you end up losing some amount of your deal flow. Um, or the third option is that you can find, an, uh, find a way to innovate around the problem. Um, so I'll give you a, 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 a good example, which is um, we're seeing more and more early stage deals where the valuations are way north of $5 million. Um, and you know, we have those same three options that I just described. What we've chosen to do is actually find an innovative way around it. And what we actually do is on our convertible notes, for example, um, we'll ask for a 2x minimum return for any change of control prior to the exit. And we don't want that right for, you know, infinite amount of time into the future. We just want it until the note converts. Uh, and, you know, that doesn't mean we would veto every sale that came through. But the point is, though, is that that's one way that we can innovate around that problem. Um, but in my own experience, I've found that actually if you talk to many of the smartest founders I've run into, uh, understand that there is some value in maybe raising less money on a lower valuation uh, to optimize for speed and also to give themselves maximum, uh, a maximum number of uh, exit options that don't require them to do $100 million exits or billion dollar exits or anything like that. Um, so I think the summary there is that uh, I, I think there's always going to be people that complain about the market. I think we've chosen to innovate in some of our terms, but we've also chosen to kind of look outside of our backyard. Uh, and uh, I encourage other investors to do the same.